Hey all, this is a super quick video on how to use Google Material Design's uh, color tool. So you're just going to go to um, material.io uh, and then you're going to go to resources here. Okay, and then on the bottom, scroll to the bottom, you're going to go to color tool. Okay, so in the color tool, this is going to help you uh, start to visualize what your color scheme is going to look like, okay? So in your primary um, you are going to select a primary color. So here's like um, a lot of different colors that you can choose from, okay? Um, you can you can select whatever color you, you'd like. Um, you can also put in a custom color. So if you go to custom, for instance, uh, if you're not happy with these colors, you can you know find your color from Illustrator or another color picker. You could put your uh, hex color in here. But the way that the material design system works is they recommend by starting with a primary color that is in the 500 range. You can cheat with this little and maybe go like 400, 600. You know, you have some wiggle room. These, these rules aren't like dogma, but they will help you create a really kick-ass color scheme. So um, I would suggest making your primary color, all right? Um, working with that and selecting one that's in this general color range. Um, and you could try different stuff. You know, I encourage you to kind of mess things up a little bit. All right. So maybe let's start with, I like a dark theme. So let's start with, um, this text, uh, this color here. So that like a deep purple. Okay. And what it will automatically do for you is it will give you a lighter version and a darker version. Okay. And so this lighter version here, um, which has uh, this hex, this is gonna be, uh, this is a color that's usually in the 300 range, right? So it's a purple that's in like the 300 range. So this is about this color, right? A deep purple in, in the 300 range. And that'll be for like secondary areas. So if you toggle over, you'll see that it's for like secondary areas, right? And then um, the darker color around 700, right? So this is 700. That'll be for like status bars up here, right? Like so, okay? So you can kind of toggle around and you can see like how these colors are used, right? And then for your, your secondary color, this is gonna be your accent color, okay? And accent colors usually come from this area, the A's, okay? So A100 um, to 700. And these are gonna be your brighter, more saturated colors. And what these are gonna be used for is these are really for like your accent marks, okay? So for instance, y'all you know, know I love this green. All right, so this is gonna be then my primary color for the accent, which they're calling secondary, and then the slightly lighter, and then the slightly darker, okay? So again, this will be in about the, um, this color will be in about the 100 range. So I think we're in 100, okay? And then this color will be in about the 700 range, maybe up a little bit. All right, so then if we toggle through, you can kind of see what things will start to look like, okay? And so from here, you can start to make some decisions, right? So maybe you're not like totally into how these two colors are playing together. Um, you can always change things around, you know, in your, um, in your actual app. But this will give you a little bit of a starter. So, you know, maybe we, on the secondary, we try out some different colors here. Right? And just kind of see, like, okay, so there's something kind of nice happening here. We're still getting this, like, really, really vibrant color. But then, as you can see, like, these are kind of playing nicer together. So this is a really nice tool for you to just see, like, how your color scheme can kind of play together. Again, you have your primary color. Right, this is going to be like your your biggest color, and then sort of some accent colors for that primary color, and then this is going to be your secondary color, which is obviously again going to be for um, uh, for like your accents, right? And then like um, you have accent colors to your accent color, okay? And then again, if you're you know when you get to this page and you're like, actually, I kind of had something different in mind here, you can totally click on here and go to custom and you can find that exact color that you're looking for, right? So you can kind of find that like exact color. And the more that you adjust things, right? So maybe we go a little brighter here. The more that you adjust things, like the more things will change, okay? Ooh, that's kind of nice. It's kind of working really well. 
Okay, so that's just like a small example on how to use this. And then, um, and this should just get you started with your color scheme. Again, here's, uh, and then if you want to click here, you can see what your text looks like. You can try some different text colors if you want. Like for instance, you know, maybe we want to, maybe we want to do something different than white. Maybe we could try, um, maybe we could try like our yellow on that. See what some of those type colors look like. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh, that's like really bad. I like that. Um, you know, and then like here's uh, text on something else, right? So text on this color. So maybe we want to actually go with white there, you know, um, or like a gray. Okay. So you can, so you have lots of different options. And once you kind of find some things that are starting to like work together, like again, you know, this obviously doesn't make much sense. You probably don't want to do that. Um, not everything needs to be perfect on these screens, right? But they will give you like an idea for, you know, how these colors are going to play together and how they're going to look in terms of like a UX and a UI. So the way that you're going to submit these is you're literally just going to press on this link here. It's going to copy it to your clipboard. And then you're going to go over to the uh, submission link and just put it in that file. And that's it. And I would highly recommend that you save this link for yourself. Obviously, it'll be saved where you're submitting it. But this is where you can really easily copy and paste your, um, your hex codes for your color. Okay, so again, just click here. It'll copy the link. And then you'll just go over to the document and submit that URL. And that's how you will be submitting your color scheme. All right, good luck.